so I'm finally going to give you a tour of my workspace slash beauty room. Um, this is where I'm at the most. So I do try to, you know, keep it dolled up a little. It's definitely not finished. Um, all the stores closed down and I didn't get to like really make it look super fancy and nice. I'm going to redo this entire wall. Um, but yeah, this is just basically what it is for now until I do a um, updated video. So when you come in behind the door, we have my backdrop, which has my logo. And this is where I get all of my content. I'm sorry, my son is out there crying. But all of my content is taken right behind my door. This is where... This is mainly what you see if you're on Facebook or Instagram. So then you come in here and then you have, this is just a closet in here. I'm so glad it's a closet in here because it stores so much of my supplies, okay? I have an overload of supplies because I do like to keep things in bulk. So those are just some of my wigs. Um, dye, I, I don't like to run out of dye. I have tons and tons of dye. Then I have these two... Um, little what are they called like the little cosmetology little storage containers and i just put literally random stuff but of course all things that i use and that i need like you know um let's see we have a dye all kinds of dye in there more dye um pens and things um literally that's mostly where i'll keep like my gloves and stuff i need to go through and organize this Sorry, um, my gloves and stuff. But I need to go through and organize this one day. I just haven't had a chance to. Um, random things. When I used to do sew-ins, I had I used to pull that this card out and like keep it near me. But I don't anymore. All my bleach and developers. Um, this red bag is full of just like random scrap pieces of hair. Because if you're anything like me, we do not throw away hair. Okay, you never know who who or what we could use it okay so then i have this um this revlon brush air blow dryer that i'm gonna be doing a review on i got that yesterday this drawer is so random and look at it it's all it's tore up but my son he comes he pulls all the drawers out so i don't keep anything important in here at all just some gloves my husband just gave me measuring tape literally it's so raggedy i need to get a new one but whatever um, over here, I normally keep my bundles, individual bundles or closures that I don't hang up, like my virgin hair, my raw hair, I can't hang it up. Then down below, I have um, hair nets. These are the nets for the wigs and the bundles if I need it. Hair tags, just different little um, hair tags or thank you cards or... Um, labels and all kind of just random stuff is in there and that's basically sums up the closet it's pretty junky all right then over here on this um little ikea shelf that i got i try to put some of my things that i sell like those um edge brushes of course my mannequin um is at the very top my wax sticks i do keep them here um my growth oil then i have um my non-slip wig grips and then one of my first photo shoots i did and just a hello gorgeous and of course my ring light and then i have these little lights that um oh my hands are don't talk about my hands i just bleed some i dyed some hair black so i didn't use gloves of course but anyways i have these box of lights that i will turn on sometime when i want to do content then my a vanity so it's more like a work desk than a actual vanity now um on this side i definitely put of course my sewing machine but i put just all kind of um like my sewing essentials in here so i don't have to get up literally all of my sewing needs my mailing supplies and things and then all my caps down below on that side and then of course i love that on the other side um that's where i do have, do have like all my, my makeup so these drawers are like 
I do try to keep it for makeup or like a t-shirt in case I need to wipe anything off. But like I said, y'all, it is very junky. But hey, this is what we got. Look at all those cords. Oh, Lord. My other mannequin, that is just a cute little mirror drawer. Then here I had some um, foam that I didn't really promote. I made it and then I don't know if I like it anymore. So, yeah, that's just there. Then, of course, I have all my lace tint. And then we have our non slip wig grips, my label printer, and then I have my little certificate for uh, my LLC. I don't use this very often. As you can see, the date says March, and we are definitely in May. But um, I tried to jot down like the amount of wigs that I was gonna do after a certain sales so that I don't that I don't get like overwhelmed. Um, here are some of my blockheads. I love this because I can hide a lot more junk. So this is just my product, my product storage place. And then here in the middle, I have poly mailers. Then I have the satin bags and my silk scarves. Then I have in this drawer all of my, um, of course, my razors and then my wig tags. So those drawers are good. Lumina full plastic wrap. We definitely need to keep my little scale is here um all of these are my wig bags i just store them here for now um i do have my bags for like pickup if they're local then i'll stamp a bag and put the bag there um of course packing paper and then this little container is just like a container full of random things that i'll pull out when i have to create my bags um or like create any kind of uh, packaging. That's what that thing is for. So this is like my packaging. And then of course in this one, we keep uh, more hair dye and my markers, thank you cards, last bands, storage, storage, storage. You guys, I have so much storage. All right, and then this beautiful thing here. Um, it is my, it was like a salon station that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. A lady was selling it out of her salon and I wanted it so bad. And this thing is so heavy, but so it does have a lot of compartments I do like. Um, and then it has this little area if I want to put my hot tools in. This random, oh my gosh, y'all, random. Okay, I'm going to do an organizing uh, how I store things video, okay? But, yeah, I even had, like, behind there I kept my little um, divider because I thought that I was going to use a divider. And, yeah, so this is it. This is what we have for my work space. I love it. It's you know, it's for me. And then for my chair. So I had a stool, that stool right there. But my back tends to hurt when I'm sitting at my desk doing wigs all day. So I decided to use my salon chair. I used to have this chair in here, um, basically in the middle. And I had a TV up here when I was taking clients. But because I no longer take clients, the TV came out. I used that just to keep my wig heads up there. And, um, yeah, and I use the chair and I put a pillow behind my back and it just keeps my back from hurting. Uh, you know, it helps with my posture when I'm sitting at my desk or AKA workspace. So this is where I'm working at, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. When I tell you guys, this is the real deal. I didn't sugarcoat it. We didn't go, I didn't go through and clean it. Like this is what you walk into. I do this every day. So it's very hard to keep it like spick and span, especially with me having my son too. I can't keep it, you know, super duper clean. And I'm getting ready to do a lot of wig orders now. So hair will be everywhere. So I figured, hey, let's go ahead and get this video out the way right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, put in the comment section, you know, what your workspace look like. If you do have a, a channel and you do have a video of your workspace, then please leave the link, sis, or say, hey, check out my workspace. And yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye, y'all. You're broken.